everyone. A new week has started and it's time for us to uh, make a new weekly training plan. First of all, I want to say that we are still following up on the Euro Japanese yen trading plan, which I posted like two weeks ago. Uh, it currently entered in our sell zone and it is forming a ni nice consolidation. So we might find a spot there to enter by the end of the week. And based on the other plan, which I posted last week on the Great British Pound uh, USD, uh, we are again still following up. We managed to book in some profits if you followed our live trades uh, and our target is still not reached. So there is still room for more. Now this week I want to present to you a new trading plan based on the USD CAT currency pair. This is the daily graph where we can see that currently today the price has finally reached uh, the daily resistance level after breaking this daily support down here. You can see that this daily resistance was tested before three times and it actually formed a range before making a nice swing down. At this point I expect for the uh, daily resistance to hold but even if it it's broken, uh, we are still going to trade this pair, so I, I have prepared two possible scenarios, which we will now see on the H4 time frame. So on the H4, we can see that currently uh, the pair is in an uptrend, obviously. It started on the 16th of February and it has been a very, very strong uptrend. Uh, if you want to count it as waves, uh, we can see that it this currently is the actually the third wave now after the third wave is finished i expect to see a uh, correction down and i was expecting it to see it from this daily resistance so i expected to see a bounce from the daily resistance and a move down but According to the last H4 candle, uh, this is not the case. Nevertheless, we are still preparing also a sell zone, as you can see, and a buy zone. Uh, and we'll try to find a profitable spot to enter. Now, uh, a few words about the technical analysis. Uh, my expectations are for the pair to actually go down and cover up the sell zone, reaching either down to the daily support or to this possible H4 stoppage, which is uh, the top of the first wave. Now, if the, uh, as you can see, I have also added a confirmation line. Uh, this line will be uh, our confirmation signal if it's broken, that the pair is ready to uh, go down into a correction and cover the sell zone. Now, if the price continues to go up from here, I wouldn't look for entries right now on this uh, candle or the next probably, because as you can see, the move up is uh, pretty old on the H4 now. So my expectations are to see either move a little bit more up after this H4 candle, then a correction down to the daily resistance then a new stronger move up all the way to the 1.34 area now and this is also our target area if uh, the pair continues going up uh, i will post live signals on it so follow us on twitter uh, we'll look for possible entries both on the h4 and uh, the m30 time frame now i just want to take a look on the economic calendar for this week and uh, figure out what it has in store for us and uh, how to approach trading on this plan. Today we have one high importance report. Uh, it will be posted on at 1500 GMT or uh, 1700 Bulgarian time. There is a possibility to see slight volatility caused by this report uh, probably mainly on the uh, lower time frames, but 
Uh, one thing to take notice about is that uh, the expected number is very close to the previous number. So, in my opinion, there is a high probability that we'll see a difference from the expected number, which will cause uh, some stronger volatility. Tomorrow, uh, the calendar is pretty empty. We have two uh, medium importance reports during the US session. Uh, that will be posted at 1500 GMT or 1700 Bulgarian time. Uh, we might see them causing volatility, but I don't expect them to change much on the markets. Now, Wednesday uh, is different. On the third day of the week, we have a few medium importance reports from the US and we also have a very important report, uh, which is a high importance report from the Canadian bank and it, they will be uh, making a decision about their interest rates. Now, it is expected for the interest rates to stay unchanged, but keep it in mind. On Thursday, uh, it's strange to have such a calm Thursday. Uh, usually there are a lot of reports, but this Thursday will be uh, pretty weak. There are a few medium importance reports that might cause some volatility, but I don't expect them to change much on the markets again. And I expect uh, the pace that uh, Wednesday report set up to be uh, continued during the Thursday sessions. Now on Friday, it's a little bit different. A lot of high importance reports from the beginning of the US session and they will continue till the end, uh, till the market close. Uh, they will also be spiced up by some medium importance reports. And after you add the fact that it's the end of the week and uh, traders will start closing their trades, especially short term traders, and you have the recipe for a high volatility for high volatile markets. Now Friday will be the so-called dark zone. I would advise you to uh, stay away from the markets or if you have open positions, beg in some profits and just watch what happens during the US session. This is the economic overview and this is my trading plan. I will post it on TradingView so you can follow up on how it develops. Uh, I will post the live signals again on Twitter and expect this week uh, short term trading plans posted as both as YouTube videos and on TradingView. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a profitable week.